before we do anything first things first you're gonna need at least three water 15 reed 15 flint you're also gonna need an apprentice guitar tier 2 but we're gonna get that through the quest line all right let's get started okay so after you bought all the items that you needed we're gonna want to open our map we're gonna go want to go to this quest here at summer medley fair so i'm gonna teleport over to mallory shrine once you're at this location make sure you talk to this quest giver up here go ahead and accept the quest that they're giving you run around real quick and gather all the instruments once you collected all the instruments talk to the quest giver again go ahead and accept the next quest that they want to give you once they give you the next quest we're going to find a swarm the swarm symbols are going to look like this on your map so just make sure that you look for one of those plenty of swarms down here in winds ward we're just going to head to one once you're at the swarm, you're going to want to perform the Pacific Song. It doesn't matter if you do guitar page 1 or guitar page 2. You should have gotten these as a reward for the last quest that we did. Go ahead, open up your inventory and learn the pages if you haven't already. Go ahead and play the song as many times as you can as long as the swarm's here. Once you've played your three songs and the swarm disappears, it's going to look something like this. Make sure that you grab this dust on the ground as well. People are going to try to steal this dust from you, but just collect it anyways. Next, we're going to head back to the quest giver and hand in the quest. Once you've been to the Summer Medley Fair once, you can then teleport straight to it. Once you're back at the Summer Medley Fair, talk to the quest giver. Go ahead and accept his next quest, and then accept all his quests going forward. Now we need to head to a fishing hotspot and use that bait that we gathered from the swarm to catch an event fish. The hotspot we're going to head to is in Shattered Mountain. It's a really good spot, it has a lot of hotspots in it. It doesn't have to be an actual fishing hotspot. That's not what we're looking for right now. It's event specific. So we're gonna head to the crossroad shrine and we're gonna head down south from there. And we should be getting the event hotspots popping up all along here. These are the hotspots that you're looking for. And this spot has plenty of them. Let's go ahead and use one of these hotspots to catch ourselves an Eternum Sturgeon. Make sure you press your equip bait key and use the bait that we collected from the swarm. Now that you've caught at least one Eternum Sturgeon, you can sit here and farm this event until you have enough to hand in. But we're gonna go hand in our quest right away. Let's teleport back to the quest giver. Right now, it's telling me that I need to hand in my quest at this Summer Medley Fair location, but that's just because that's the closest location, but it doesn't matter. We can go back to the one we were at earlier. Once you're back at the quest giver, hand in the quest. Once you hand in that quest, we're gonna head down to Winds Ward here. Once you're in Winds Ward, let's go talk to Suzanne. Once you're here, go ahead and talk to her. She'll tell you to repair this table right here. You can just collect some wood from right here. Once you collect some wood, go ahead and repair the table and then attach the vise to it. Once we did that for Suzanne, we need to head back to a summer medley fair. Once you're back at the summer medley fair, talk to the quest giver again. Now we gotta talk to somebody else. I'm not gonna even try to pronounce his name. We're gonna head down to Everfall here, Dust Meadow Shrine. Once you're here, talk to the person. They're gonna ask you to water their plants. This is why we brought the three water. Then we need to go back to a summer medley fair village. Talk to the quest giver again. Now we're gonna teleport down to Brightwood, uh, to this shrine right here. Once we are here, yet again, go ahead and talk to the person. You're gonna have to place down your camp and you can grab some extra flint from around here and use the wood that you gathered earlier to craft it. Now go ahead and craft five of the bee smokers. Once you crafted the five bee smokers, head over to the beehives here and use them on the beehive. Once you've done that, teleport back to a medley fair village. Go ahead and talk to the quest giver. And then we're gonna teleport down to Monarch's Bluff here, to Kaladin's Gate. Go ahead and talk to her. She wants you to clean something, go ahead and clean it. You gotta clean it like three or four times, fine. Let's go ahead and head back to the Medley Fair Village. Go ahead and talk to the quest giver once again. And now we're gonna teleport to the south of Weaver's Fen. Once you're here, go ahead and talk to this person as well. He wants you to do a little dance in front of him. Go ahead and just type slash dance. Let's head back to the Summer Medley Fair. I'm gonna recall from this location. Let's go ahead and teleport to the Medley Fair. Once you're here, go ahead and talk to the quest giver again. Next thing they want us to do is go ahead and play a song called My New Home. I just moved off at the side. My new home right here. We're going to select this and play it. Once you're done performing the song, head back to the quest giver. And that's it. You're officially ready to grind the event. So there's a couple things we can do to get the summer medley fair tokens and the premium tokens. Before we get into that, I would recommend buying right away the Yeah Mandolin and the Yeah Guitar Sheet. These were the most expensive in the game. And it's because these music sheets are the quickest. Like these songs are only only 30 seconds compared to other songs that are like a minute. 
So make sure you go ahead and grab a couple of those for one cent. Definitely, definitely worth it. And you could probably pick up all of them. You can also go to pretty much every settlement, come to this stand pretty much in the middle or the main area of that settlement. You can also get some reward. The next thing you can do is you can open up your turn on surgeon. And then depending on what you get here, you can trade them in for tokens. If you get any fish bones, you can bring them here to the Medley Fair bonfire thing, and this will automatically give you a premium token. The rest of the items you can bring to this little hut here, and you can exchange the items for tokens. You can exchange the scales, the fillets, and the dust that we were collecting earlier. And then once you have 25 of the Medley Fair token, you can exchange 25 for a premium Medley Fair token. Some items in the shop just require normal tokens, and other items in the shop require premium token. Now for the event reputation. One thing is you can come here and perform an emote on the dance floor at every single summer medley fair location. And this will give you like 250 reputation points. And you can do that at every single medley fair location. And there's four of them. There's one in Brightwood, there's one in Monarch's Bluff, there's one in Everfall, and then there's one in Weaver's Map. If you want for this event only, you can actually come in here and make trophies with the catches that you get with your fishing rod. So what you're going to want to do once you finish the quest line is you're going to want to go farm out some swarms. After you've farmed out swarms and you have plenty of the event bait, then you're just going to head back up to Shattered Mountain. You're going to head to this shrine right here. And then you're going to head to this spot right here because the amount of hot spots that are here, this is literally the best spot to be. Not only is this the perfect time to level up your fishing, but all you're going to do while you're here is catch the Eternum Sturgeon fish, break it down, and hand in the parts for the token. This event is super easy and a really good excuse to level up your fishing. Make sure if this video helped you, you like and subscribe. And for more tips, tricks, guides, and other gaming related content, check out my channel.